Good morning guys, hope you are doing well. It is eight o'clock, I've had kind of a slow morning which has been quite nice, just kind of reading my book which I did cry out. I'm reading This Is Us. If you haven't read the Colleen Hoover books, well I'm sure everyone under the sun has, but oh my god, I just had a little tear out moment in the book, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. But, oh, I just honestly, it's one of those books which just makes you so giddy. But anyway, I'm getting ready. I was going to film a makeup get ready with me for Instagram however it's just looking so gloomy and dull outside so I'm gonna wait until later so I thought I'd actually do a little one on here because I worked with um, Giorgio Armani over on TikTok and I've actually been loving the product so I thought I would come and show you the latte look on here but I also uh, kindly received some more products so I thought I'd give them a go so this is the Giorgio Armani fluid sheer glow enhancer and I believe you just put it on your face before for your foundation oh wow it's got a proper glow to it which is lovely so i've just done a couple of pumps and i've just given a really nice glowy base make my skin look very fresh and alive just gonna go in with my normal foundation and actually what i will do i'll put you on a time lapse because you've probably seen all of this and then i'll stop when i get to new more fun products doing my brows as you can see i just wanted to give an update with my lvl and my hd brows which i have been loving i think it was an absolute godsend on holiday and i would definitely get it booked in again unfortunately the color of my brows has faded but i know that's just because of where i do my brows all the time and i'm always washing them and scrubbing them however the lamination has stayed and it is just the best thing honestly it just makes my lash my brows just look so much thicker and fuller yeah the only thing is is the tint but i think i might learn myself how to do it because doing my brows is something that I am quite conscious of anyway because I think it really shapes my face my brows are really light so it really changes the look of my face and it always looks so different so having actual brows just honestly makes such a difference if I can actually do it myself because it's they only need a tint they don't actually grow that much all in all I think I just need to learn how to do it myself but this is a Clarence pencil I go between different products because I just I don't really have a set one that I like and I do really like this one this is the Clarence crayon eyebrow pencil and I'm in O2 light brown so yeah so really loving that I love my LVL lash lift I've had done that is just amazing as well especially like on holiday where I was super poorly but obviously that came as a godsend because then I didn't have to apply any makeup or as much makeup as I needed it was just it was so freeing and I'm so gonna get it done again you can still see that the lashes are still super curly and I think that's what will last the longest I think but I would really recommend getting it done I will leave the Novi lashes down below they kindly sent me away with some product to keep my lashes and my brows up to date and treated and well looked after so I've got from Novu lashes the lash brow and conditioner serum so I apply this every morning and night and it's just a kind of clear mascara and then I go in with oh this is a serum as well that's usually more at night time this is the triple enhanced lash serum so it's amazing for growth but this one just helps condition your brows and your lashes so it's a two-in-one so for example when you do your makeup routine or your hair routine you always are kind of making an effort to have like a mask on or a serum on or anything like that to condition them because where your hair or your skin is been treated or have been wearing too many products or styled too much we always treat them so it's important to treat your brows like that so having a conditioner treatment to really treat lashes and your brows is going to make them last longer for example with your nails you put oils on to on your cuticles to keep them hydrated and lovely so that's the kind of what this does also from hd brows i've got the miracle daily conditioner and this prolongs the tint wear so i'm going to put a little bit of this in and then i've got the hd brow glue and oh my goodness is this a glue this is incredible um i actually also use it for my slick back hair days because i have so many 
so many baby hairs and like little breakage and growth like you can see here i've got so much growth coming through so this is actually incredible for like literally <laughs> getting rid of those so that's been quite handy as well so i've done my what have i done i've done my bronzer i've done my blusher i think i need a tiny bit more blusher so i'm gonna add a little bit more onto my cheeks here just to give a flush of health so this morning i actually have a meeting with shu amira which is really exciting and we're going to the ivy and marlebone it's actually one of the uh, ivies i do re really recommend i just love it there um so that would be really lovely and then i've got a day at home editing all my youtube content because i'm so behind i've where i've just been super busy traveling been ill doing a one-man show is quite tricky and something that has got left behind is my youtube so i apologize but i think what i'm gonna do is post a couple each week just to speed things up but first of all i'm gonna go in with eyeshadow and over on TikTok, I will leave it down below, I did a latte eyelet. And I might do that. I might just stick to the base because I love the base. And this is what I took away with me to Baritz. The Giorgio Armani eye tints are just the most incredible thing. This is not sponsored. I did a sponsored collaboration with them over on, on TikTok to show these. These are amazing. And they have sent me, I've got 44, 12, 44S and 22. 22 is like my favorite base color. And you literally, it's super easy you can either apply it with your finger like rub it in with your finger or you just blend it in with your eyeshadow brush and it literally just goes into this like matted matted media and it is amazing like how quick and easy was that just to apply on like that Sorry, my nose is running out. and then i just go in with a smaller brush dab some on the top and i just run that under my eye and they just last all day i always find like with powders sometimes at the end of the day i feel like they don't last as long where this just literally sits on your eye incredibly it is amazing and it's just super easy and again they've got mattes they've got metallics this is like my all-time favorite shade well it's the only like matte shade i've actually tried but it is incredible it is amazing it's just super easy so i was very happy i got to work with the team on this collaboration because it is just such an amazing product i think i will leave it there i don't really like for day wear for day wear i don't really like to wear metallic i'm not a massive metallic girl anyway but i'm gonna go in with a new mascara and the reason why i'm gonna be trying this is because i am coming home i obviously stick to my iconic favorite one which is the clarence super color lift but whilst I'm on a Giorgio Armani treasure trove of beautiful products, I thought I'd give this a go. This is their Eyes to Kill. I have just got my lashes LVL, so it might be a slight, not a fair game. Okay, I like it. It's quite thin, I must admit. Sorry, I was very close then. I do like it. It is quite thin. Maybe I will try in comparison my Clarins one. I quite like it when it's clumpy and a bit more thicker. Okay, um... I think I'm still on the Clarence hype. They probably don't look that different, <laughs> but I do think I prefer the Clarence still more. But you can't love all products from the same brand, can you? Like there's only a certain amount of products I adore from Clarence and it's just their iconic ones like their lipstick and their mascara. And then I adore all their like skincare. But with Giorgio Armani, loving, love, 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 love the eye tint. The Fluid Armani, the Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer, I'm quite enjoying I'll, I'll recommend that. I like, I'm not a massive fan of the blusher. I think it's a bit, maybe I've just got the wrong colour. I've got the 40, but it just, I think, yeah, I think it's a bit too dense for me. But apparently their foundation is incredible. So that's like next on my list. So yeah, I feel like everyone has like hero products from, from brands and, but it's not the whole thing. So. I'm just gonna finish my makeup off with some powder. I tell you what, it does make my skin just look so sheen, it's amazing. And then I'm gonna go in with some setting spray. And that is my makeup for today. I'm actually also wearing a really gorgeous dressing gown. I forgot about it and then Holly reminded me that I have it. It's from Serene Days. I'll leave it down below. A really lovely brand and it's so cozy and just so flattering and elegant. It's lovely. Um, so I feel very chic in this this morning. Every time I vlog, I think there is either an airplane, the washing machine or 
something is on um but i've just got myself ready as i'm gonna go and go and collect a book and then i might go and get a coffee and sit outside and read it and then i'm gonna go and do a little food shop so um i'm just wearing my pretty lavish two-piece it's just so comfortable and it's just so easy to chuck on my vintage louis vuitton bucket bag and my russell and bromley sandals which have been a big hit since buying them all i've done is wear them so massive massive fan of those and yeah just feel actually very and very presentable for a sunday which is quite nice but yeah i'm gonna have a little me day which is really cute and um maybe do some reading in the park how how lovely of me <laughs> just got home from Waitrose, picked up some bits and bobs, just kind of like the usual like almond milk, I swapped to this one actually, I've been trying the um, Plenish almond milk as it's got really small amount of ingredients, it's literally just got almond milk, spring water and sea salt, so that's quite good. Have some tofu for some stir fries this week, bananas, frozen berries, I also picked up some coconut yogurt, so a little quick stock up. My battery is about to die, so I'm going to make some lunch lunch and carry on editing okay i don't think i have updated you since i came back from my food shop but i have been editing and now i've just been organizing the house just blitzing everything getting rid of things putting things together where i'm just like i feel like i i feel like i got quite a lot of products recently in clothes and holding on to too many clothes and i feel like i'm just having a bit of a what is the word i can't remember the word but i'm just kind of like basically detoxing my house and it feels lovely um i'm doing actually under my bed at the moment so it's looking like this it's kind of like an organized mess it doesn't look tidy but it actually is so i've got like pillows um my winter dressing gown bedding sets this is bedding here which needs to be folded and then some towels um over here with my job i get quite a lot of products so i get quite a lot of products so i put a box like this together of everything i get sent and then i can rummage through it also as well my friends can rummage through it because i do very kindly get sent quite a lot and no one needs all of this on their own um this basket down here is things that are like definitely Things that I want, so as you can see over here are all my lipsticks, Elizabeth Arden. This is, oh, these are incredible. These are um, wax strips for the face. And I don't have a moustache, but I have a little baby peach fuzz hair. So it's quite handy just to get rid of those. Um, yeah, so they're the pieces I definitely want to have for myself, but don't need them out just yet. Um, so yeah, so I've got that here. Over here is like all my hair stuff. Basically, I do really want to get a dressing table. Currently, I've got this Ikea dressing table, but I want to get ones with drawers in it to fit everything in. Um, and then under here would have so much more space for, I don't know, like coats, summer stuff, like just to keep it really organised. Um, in here is a, this is a Katie Loxton weekend bag and it's got all my like travel cosmetic bags, uh, duffel bags, umbrella. I'm also just about to put this in here as well, which is a bag full of minis so i have loads of like mini stuff which i thought it'd be handy to put all together so when i'm about to travel i can look through this and go okay i don't need to take a full product i can just take a couple of the minis so yes that's gonna live there as well this is a double ottoman box bed from dusk it is fantastic and then all of my like heels high heels um sandals um winter heels are all in this box as well these have literally i need to get new ones i want to get some really nice like linen ones or maybe some wood ones but these will do for now but yeah i just thought i'd quickly update you with what i'm doing and then i've just put a bag of this is just like what i need to go through for like depop that i also work with a company called ebloggers and then yeah but i'm gonna do that another day i feel like just doing that today is enough um, so I can get on with a couple more things and then I'm going to put some more stuff on Facebook market and then that's me done and I think I might sell this mirror as well because I feel like it's handy but I actually don't want it I feel like I want some more something a bit more fun um it didn't fulfill the purpose of why I wanted it in the first place which is a shame just by like you know but yeah so 
that is me getting there. Gonna carry on and then I'll catch you guys in a bit. Dinner is served. Very basic sweet potato with some vegan, well not, it's like plant-based mayonnaise, uh, tuna with some spring onions and then I've got my friend Helena's mum's homemade chili jam on top. We've got some spinach in there as well and I've drizzled some chili oil as well. This is from Oliver Bonus and it is so gorgeous and I've just filled up with the rest of some chili oil and it's got a chili in there as well because I was like it's a chili oil decanter it needs actual chili oil in it but yeah I'm gonna have this and go and watch a bit of Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I actually don't know <laughs> what the day is at the moment. I feel like it's just been all over the show. I've literally just downed a hydration tablet with lemon and just all the health in it. I'm feeling like I'm coming down with a cold. Um, I'm just about to head out with Holly to go to a three people pop up at Harvey Nicks. So we're gonna go along to that this morning. We're in a very, very super casual outfit today just because I feel like it's just very windy, rainy, and it's just not very nice outside. And it is gonna rain at some point as well. But I saw one of the girls I know through Instagram called Freya Killen. She wore this, or she posted this yesterday. It just looks really lovely. And I was like, I have all those ingredients to make this recipe or this outfit. So I thought I would give it a go and I quite like it. It looks really sweet. Really summery but still like covered up so i'm wearing a mint velvet bomber jacket which i'm just really loving at the moment i think it's really sweet i really like the details the kind of chanel jupe tweed it's got these really lovely beaten buttons and then i've just paired it with a ribbed vest which is from and other stories paired it with my trusty zara jeans which are just very comfy and just so easy to wear and then I've got on my <laughs> my samba trainers and paired with a white Chanel and then I am wearing my Taylor Morris sunglasses which I will leave down below as well and yeah I just thought it's a really nice like summer's outfit but, but it's appropriate for the rain as well it's sunny right now which is kind of confusing but I do know it's going to rain later it's gonna rain at 10 and 1 so yeah it's better to be safe than sorry but yeah we're literally just going to Harvey Nicks to check out some pieces and then yeah I have a meeting with a lovely illustrator who I met recently and we're just gonna have like a little creative content kind of like brainstormy coffee which would be really lovely I love meeting new people and kind of picking their brains and things like that and how we can work together so yeah very excited for that so yeah let's head up the door I think it's around for a while but Last so in the changing room I've picked up a couple of pieces first up these jeans that are just oh my god I'm obsessed with a little jacket a little white shirt dresses in white and black and then a little black dress as well so let's quickly give these a go before my coffee meeting first up are these jeans wearing a waist 24 and they are so cute i love the stripe in them i think they're really sweet love the like fun double pocket and they're kind of like a culotte which is really nice super soft really comfortable and i could see these just being paired just really nicely with a basic t-shirt or a little vest but also as well like dressed up maybe they are a little bit baggy here but other than that i do really like these so this is the jacket which is kind of like a shirt i did think i might be able to wear it kind of like a top i could get like a little bit of extra of this fat of this string and like attach it here and then make it into a top i feel like that could be actually quite cute but i've just chucked it on with the jeans and it still looks actually really sweet um also really nice with a dress i've got the dresses so i'll try it on with that but really love the details we're in a small probably could have gone down to an extra small but still very very cute okay next up is this blouse really cute but i feel like it's a bit too rustic for me it still looks really cute but just not very my style but i really like the details because i've got a really nice gilet that i've been trying to find a really sweet shirt to go with it but i think this might be a bit too rustic however very cute a very cute little beach shirt with some shorts would look really nice the dress is like a corset it is so cute and you can literally alter it so much i've literally gone so tight with it 
which is amazing. I really like the straps. I think these are really elegant. The material is so soft. I love it. I actually might try it in the white. I feel like that would look really nice. I have got quite a lot of black dresses, but this is a perfect like little black dress. I feel like this might be a winner actually. I feel like this is super cute. Um, and it's also got pockets as well, which is really lovely. Yeah, really nice. And the back's just very, very cute. Just a very classic everyday little black dress. I tried on the black version of this dress and I do adore this top. I think this is absolutely stunning, but it's just a little bit too big on me, but I really like the details of the back. It's really sweet. Um, but yeah, really unfortunately it's a little bit too big on me, but this is such an elegant little, just a chuck on dress. It's so sweet. I love the details, but yeah, if I could get this in a smaller size, that would be amazing. I think I might try and see if I can get the, um, I think the black dress is the winner. I might just to see if I can get it in a white for this weekend and that would be perfect. A little later now, I'm just getting ready to head out the door. It's raining outside and it's making it actually really hard to know what to wear. So I've just put on a really basic classic outfit. I'm just wearing a little vest top from Zara. These are just so comfortable and such an essential in a wardrobe and they are so comfortable. And then I am wearing and then I'm just wearing some white shorts from And Other Stories that I'll leave down below with my Celine belt and my Odd Muse blazer. And then I've actually paired them with my Me and M Duke Chanel sandals, which are just incredible and just such a classic. So I just I've gone for a very easy monochrome look. And then actually I was going to bring out my Chanel, but. I think at night time I get a little bit scared on my own to take it out. I kind of received a bag from a company called Songmon. They're Songmons. And I was kindly offered to pick out a bag. And so that is what I have done. I've actually got it already pretty much to go because I am literally about to head out the door. But first off, I picked up this key ring. I just was like proper hunting on their website and I saw this key ring and I was like, do you know what? I actually really need a key ring because my, my key ring chain that my friend Tula bought me as a welcome present. It's just so sad. It's just like a little broken piece. Unfortunately, it broke. So I'm going to keep that in my memory box because I don't want to get rid of it. But yeah, so I was, I, I saw this. So I just thought it was really sweet, really handy. It just clips on. I just thought it was a really fun, cute little little accessory. But the star of the show is this bag, and I'm obsessed. I saw this on Instagram, and I just fell in love. And I was actually really indecisive of what colour to get. So I picked up this one, and I don't actually remember what one this is. I will leave it down below like I usually do. But it is an incredible bag because it arrived like this. And the beauty of it is, well, firstly, it's got a magnet kind of like open clasp in like this it's got a locket which i think is just an accessory but a cute one at that i've gone for this like really nice like taupey color this like white taupe so it goes with quite a lot i really like the gold details it has on it i think this is just such a beautiful bag so you can just wear it like this because it has a clasp like that so you can have it like a little baguette which is really cute so that's how i'm gonna wear it tonight it's quite a nice like style of the, the bottega and i just think it's a really cute bag i just love the details of it it does come in different colors like black and other more fun colors but i wanted a nice nude one and then actually what comes with it is an additional part to the bag which is a longer strap you have this and what you do is you attach it with these and it's super easy to actually put on which is amazing because some bags i actually have a proper difficulty doing this i wasn't going to do this on camera and then actually it's super quick to do so you can do it like this and then it becomes a shoulder strap or a cross body and yeah i just thought that's a really cute idea so thank you very much to the someone team for kindly sending this over it gave me perfect timing for my little evening out tonight i am off to brasserie of light as i've kindly been invited to go for dinner there i'm taking my friend francesca and we're just going for a lovely catch up which will be really nice um, like I said, it is raining, but it's hot outside, so I'm wearing shorts. But I think I'm going to have to bring an umbrella because it's just not lovely weather outside. Let's head out the door. house 
which is just oh, so lovely. I haven't had this desire to be at home home for such a long time and I don't know if that's just because of my new apartment and also I've been away in Bali. Yeah, it's just I've been really excited to come home. I'm here for the whole weekend. It's Friday now. I came last night and I'm here for my parents anniversary to get my nails done just to see my family and friends and it's just going to be lovely because the last time I was here it was literally for a quick fly and visit for my friend George and Abby's wedding. So yeah, very excited that I get to be here for the whole weekend which is just lovely. Just set up camp for my laptop this morning and I've done like a little morning reading and coffee and honestly I just feel so zen and my parents are looking after me which is like the best thing. I'm very grateful for that. But I am going to make a morning smoothie so this is the little this is the pantry i'm not too sure if i've shown you this i don't know if i've actually shown you this whole kitchen it is absolutely stunning and just oh what they've done with the place and oh my god i have to show you the garden i don't know if the door's open how beautiful it's like a little secret garden it's absolutely stunning the hydrangeas are just so beautiful. They are literally, oh, I love it here so much. But yes, this is the kitchen. This is me. <laughs> this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Zara waistcoat and some ginormous denim jeans because it's just super comfortable. But yeah, we're in the pantry now and I'm gonna make myself a smoothie and I've even brought my protein and probiotic powder from JS Health, which is vanilla flavor. And it's literally got nothing in it. It's all really good ingredients because quite a lot of protein powders have a lot of crap in them so so I'm gonna make this now smoothie bowl the most giant smoothie bowl look at that so you're talking to this and get on with some admin. So I'm just getting myself ready for the day. I am absolutely adoring this Armani Beauty. This is the Fluid Sheer in shade 2. It is so glowy. I don't know if you can see that in this light. I've actually got a ring light on because I'm filming some content. Something else I really like to have as a makeup base is the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible Flawless Primer. That's a really nice base as well. And it's got SPF in it. Broken my nails. So good timing to be seeing Beth. Really indecisive of what nails I want to go for. I'll leave a picture on, on the screen of the ones I'm kind of going towards. I just think they're really elegant and really pretty. So I think I'm going to go for that. That's done. Right. I'm going to get ready. As I've already done a makeup with you. So I'll put you guys on a little time lapse. <laughs> look i need to put some oil in my hair it feels super dry so i'm gonna raid my mom's cup failure but there is a oh, okay um so i've got the uh... okay you can apply it on dry hair this is the olaplex number six bond smoother you can apply it a very small amount of damp or dry hair concentrating at the ends and i just feel like my hair oh oh wow i love that that is just really tamed i'm just as you can see just really dragging that in my hair some wonders wow just to give it because i'm gonna wash it tomorrow fresh for the party which is why i'm here in sussex basically i think i said earlier it's my mum and dad's 30th anniversary and so i've come down for the weekend as we're doing like a really fun champagne party tomorrow at a local vineyard you can go there uh, if you are in sussex or coming down to sussex and want something to do oh i really like that and um, there's a really beautiful vineyard and um you can do like charcuterie boards champagne wine tasting and it's one of our favorites so i will leave that down below for you are in Brighton or Sussex area I want to give it a go but we basically hired it for Saturday night and we're having a massive party and then we're doing a really nice Sunday lunch and then they're coming back up to London with me on Monday as I have my cancer scans and then I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on I've got the pomelo body lotion and then because I've got my cancer scans and then we're having a lovely lunch with 
our best friends who I just adore. I went to see Amber in Dubai as she's currently living there at the moment, but she's home in England for pretty much August because Dubai in August is probably the wrong time to be there because it's just crazy heat. Um, so yeah, so it'll be a really lovely long weekend. I'm gonna make a early lunch as I need to head into Brighton for my nails. Ready for Brighton. I'm just wearing my Zara waistcoat, jeans, my vintage Louis Vuitton, and my Samba trainers. And I'm gonna drive down. And also as well, my dress arrived which is amazing. So I decided to rent an outfit because I'm so on this rental hype at the moment. I rent a couple of pieces on by rotation and also as well, I have rented a couple of pieces on there as well. Um, this is a new brand that I came across, which is called Borrow From. And I saw it on a girl I know called Misha. She rented this piece, but never wore it. But she took a picture of it and was like, someone has to wear this, like this is stunning. And I have ordered it for the party because I thought it would be perfect because we're doing a white theme so basically we, we go to a place in spain and they do champagne sunday which is like my favorite thing and you have to wear white which is really fun yes yeah, so you have to wear white um which is really fun and we're kind of doing the same thing like that so i picked up i really hope it fits i picked up this dress to rent which is from Arj. so cute i just adore the details i love this brand and have wanted to wear something from this brand for such a long time and i saw this and i just thought that would be so fun size six so hopefully it does fit but i just love the puffiness and the details of it so we'll give this a go when i come back later i do have other options as well but this is just so fun so i'll leave it down below if you do want to check the brand out and um also arj oh their their dresses are just very beautiful and i'm gonna style this with some russell and bromley brown like espadrille heels which will look really lovely so that is hopefully what i'll be wearing tomorrow i haven't driven a car in so long oh my god and i miss it so much so i'm very excited to be in the car and i love this is a mini and i absolutely adore minis i think they're the like the best one of the best cars anyway enough rambling bright <laughs> done went for like this really cute gold and white illustration like line drawings on my nails very happy with them just goes very nice for summer i'm about to head home now i picked up my favorite cookies from wolf up for oliver and i they are sensational and i'm going to drive safely but speedily home so i can eat them because <laughs> i am i'm being very powerful with not eating them i'm like literally like they just smell incredible but i'm gonna save them for when i get back and eat them with ollie but yeah the sun's come out which is just amazing so it's roof open love driving honestly it's the best thing ever so we just got home i wanted to show you this cookie because i've been literally itching to eat it so these are the cookies so a company called Woolfox in Brighton who I just absolutely adore. This is their cookies and I think they've sold part of their company to Broad Broadwolf, something like that. I'll leave them down below, find them, but these are their, their tahini um, sea salt cookies. Tahini Himalayan salt cookies. Oh my God, they're amazing. So it's like dark chocolate, Himalayan salt and chocolate. It is, honestly, and they are so very delicate. They are delicious. Oh well, you yeah, haven't seen a cookie on my vlog. <laughs> Mum's got her eyebrow appointment. I got my nails done. She's had a fake tan done. I've got a bougie, got my makeup on. You look wonderful. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Mm, mm, mm. Because right. not a lot of people can wear that dress with like that. Yeah, you probably won't need to bother. Did you hire? Yeah, this is a rental. So, this is the dress I might be wearing to me, mum and dad's anniversary. I feel like, I was just saying to mum, I feel like it, so I'm like, I've arrived, it's my party. <laughs> Mia, why change anything? But, look at the details of this. It is just exquisite. And I've just paired it with my mum, Russell and Bromley, Espadrille Hills. Excuse the iron in the background. But, 
Yeah, <laughs> cute. I like it. You sure? Yeah. So obviously, mum's the it, mum. It is mum's party. <laughs> Everyone's wearing white. But not me. And then mum's like, my party. You sure? Yeah. Are you sure about this? I got my new shoes. Oh, she's got some new Russell and Brock. Some new Russell and Brock. Oh, I like that colour as no, well. No, she's not having them. These are really party. comfortable. They're the no, best you have shoes. Those, but I'm wearing oh, well, well, thank you. <laughs> Why, thank you, my dear. But it, it, it feels like a corset, this does. Especially yeah. after having a cookie. Okay, I'm not sure. There you go. That's better. Yeah? So you are cute. Sure you like this? Yep. Okay. We just need everyone to do a sun dance tomorrow, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> if not, we'll just drink champagne. It's the thing me and Helena said. Please ignore my No, rain. no, no. <laughs> what Helena and I said in Barrett's, we said when it rains, we pour. Exactly. Do you like it? This is the dress to try on. Yes. We're happy. We're happy. Here we go. This would be the perfect dress for a hen do or an engagement party. You know, just thinking, or if anyone's getting married and they're having like a really nice, like, is it a ceremony where you go to a, what's it called? The registry office. A registry office. I think this would be a lovely dress for that. Yeah. With some really cute white, like, Jimmy Choo heels. Anyway, I'm going to love and leave you here because I look disheveled, but yeah. Very happy with this dress. Looks very cute. <laughs> So we had no water all day. So we were kind of a bit uh, bummed with that. But the mood has arisen. And we are on our way to the venue to get it all ready. I'm wearing the Arj dress. Which is just so cute. And I'm just pairing it with my Somewant bag. Just kind of a bit more casual. And I've just done my makeup. And yeah, happy with how this looks. And also as well, it's nice and warm, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, so we're ready to go, which is really exciting. Um, the boys are there just dropping off all the food um, and the girls are getting ready. And yeah, I'll show you when I get to the venue. I probably won't talk much at the venue, but I'll do like a montage of how everything's looking and things like that. So you get to see what it looks like. But yeah, excited and it is clearing up. We are praying it is going to clear up even more and it's just going to be the loveliest evening, afternoon. There's going to be loads of food, which is just amazing. It's my favourite. Food, champagne, stunning. Mm -hmm. 